Hi everybody, my name is Jordan Elizabeth Galbert and I'm the CEO of Starbaby Enterprises. And over the last year, I've been very fortunate enough to work with this amazing man and his organization, the Angels of East Africa. On November 4th, we are launching the first ever Angels of East Africa Gala featuring Sam Childers himself, the machine gun preacher. We're very fortunate to not only be part of just this one event, but the potential progress and inspiration we can have worldwide to save the children of Africa. So Sam, please tell us about you, about the organization, and our upcoming event. Uh, I gotta say that our organization started out very, very small, and it's grew over the years, but it only grew because I took things serious. You know, I believe that we're all called to do something in life. And if you look into the Bible, the Bible says we're all called, but only few are chosen. And people say, well, that's only because a few of us is chosen. No, that's only because a few are willing to stand up and do something. And, and just through standing up to try to do something, what started out with a mosquito net hanging in a tree is now not one orphanage, but seven orphanages. Mm -hmm. Our first feeding program, we started feeding like 20 children. And now we feed over 7,000 mills a day. We drilled one well, and now we're known for drilling way over two dozen wells. You know, one well in East Africa can save thousands of people. You know, so all of our work started out very small, but it's got very big. So it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you got a lot of money or you have a little bit of money. We all can do something, but it takes people willing to stand up and do something. Not only had that, has that helped spread the message, but now to be able to work with you directly, to really be working on these things I've only seen on, on the cinema screen, but see the progress that just even one dollar can make for these children. And that for the event, we're going to be auctioning off artwork for these children in the orphanages, which we'll talk about in a minute, but every dollar raised at the event will be put towards the um, organization and Sam I think it's what what did you say you said that one dollar can by everyone we follow if everyone that follows us on Twitter and follows us on Facebook Sam Childers machine gun preacher uh, if everyone that follows us just gave one dollar today our budget would be in for a full year you know so it's not about a lot of money from one person it's about a little bit of money from a lot of people and it can make things happen just think that by sharing this video and even donating that one little dollar to our organization for this cause and this event, you can be changing children's lives, helping them get an education, helping them live in a sustainable living situation, because not only do you build schools and build homes, but you build farms so they can yep. continue to live off the farm. <clears throat> um, it's like we help them fish and teach them how to fish. It's unbelievable what you've done, Absolutely. and I'm so grateful to work with you. Um, so we'll hear from some more people, and of course we'll hear more from Sam about how you can get more involved with our project. Hi, uh, my name is Nicole True, and I'm here to talk about the uh, Angels of East Africa Gallum fundraiser uh, that Sam had founded, the Angels of East Af Africa organization. I, uh, my role, I'm going to tell you about my role with the uh, with Sam and um, the orphanage over in Africa. I uh, watched the movie a few years back, the Machine Gun Preacher movie, and I was totally inspired by Sam and how God was using him over there. Um, and it was just contagious, um, just Sam's sacrificial way, his love for those, those children. Um, I've also had experience with uh, being overseas and working with um, kids in third world countries. And I wanted to do something, and um, I'm an artist from Pennsylvania, Greencastle, Pennsylvania, and I, I have always wanted to use my artwork to make an impact. So I contacted Sam, um, and he lives a couple hours away from me, and I said I want to get involved, and he said he was looking for an artist to go over to Africa, work with the kids, and uh, help raise awareness. And so I went over there, and it, it just it changed my life. I met the kids. Um, at the Children's <coughs> Village, the main orphanage uh, with Angels of East Africa in South Sudan, and I um, wanted to I wanted to hear their stories and turn them into paintings. <coughs> and just my mission was is to hear stories, um, capture that, and tell the world. And that's what I wanted to do with these kids. Um, we and bring it back to New York and raise awareness and tell the world uh, what has happened to these kids um, who are affected by the war in South Sudan. Um, a lot of them have, they've lost their families, they've witnessed their, their entire families um, being murdered by 
um, soldiers in the LRA, the rebel group, the LRA, um, who terrorize villages. And I wanted to get that out because um, in the U.S. And, and even other places around the world, we're so caught up in our own lives and we don't think about what's going on in other countries. And so I worked with the kids and I had them um, create paintings that told their stories. and. I just, it was amazing, I, it was just so, so impactful, these kids, um, some of them have not opened up about, about their past, and they did that with these paintings, they, they got them to talk about what had happened to them and kind of process through it, so it was therapeutic in a way, but um, we brought the artwork back to the, the U.S., and we will um, so display them at the, the event, November 4th, Angel East African event and um, it, their stories will be written by the paintings and um, we definitely want people to, to really get involved with this and come to the event and see, see the artwork and hear the stories. It's great. Uh, I got to say something too about, okay, she left out the main thing was she was a missionary kid yeah. <laughs> and so she, she knows a lot about the mission field. Uh, keep in mind that here in America, if somebody goes hungry, it's only because they got a deadbeat mom and dad. You know, there is a system here in America that helps to feed people, that gives people a home, give people a place to stay. But most third world countries, the only hope those children have is you. There is no other hope for them but you. Children in South Sudan and in this area of South Sudan, the UN is saying that if something does not happen before the first of the year, it's gonna be the worst disaster of starvation in all of history. So keep in mind right now, we got the holiday season that's coming up, Christmas. But maybe it's not thinking so much about what we need for Christmas. Maybe we need to think about what the children of South Sudan needs. You know, just through a little bit of help, you can help change a life. Maybe we should make this a different season than any other season we have ever had. And, you know, I think for what she stepped out to do, you know, her goal is to raise a good amount of money that's going to change people's lives in this area. But she had to get serious on what she felt she was called to do. So I think if we all get serious, we can make a big difference in South Sudan. Hi, my name is Esther Fonsale. I'm here with Sam Childers, the, the machine gun preacher. And this is a very cool moment for me because I'm an actress and uh, he's got the movie, The Machine Gun Preacher. Uh, so when I was asked to work on this project uh, to do this gala on November 4 to raise funds and awareness for uh, your NPO, The Angels of East Africa, I was initially very excited because of the movie and like, I'm, right, oh, right. I get to work with like actors and some of the actors will be at the event and so on. but working on it and meeting you mm. and just um, going and researching what you're doing in Africa right. and for these kids and for the women and everything. It's just changed my heart Praise and changed God. my mind. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, yeah, I would love you to talk a little bit more about what you are doing, maybe differently from other organizations um, okay. in your focus. Well, first, I want to say thank you to you and, and everyone in your organization. You know, the more exposure that we can get, the more people that we can save. Yes. And, you know, our organization, we focus on children. But there's something beyond that, that recently, the last couple of years, we started focusing, and it's the women of East Africa. But it's not just of East Africa, it's all over Africa. Sometimes women are known to be second class, and sometimes organizations don't focus on rehabilitating women. And in East Africa, you'll find out that women, hardly anybody is focusing on changing their life. We have one project, well, we have several projects that we're focusing on women, but we have one that is really taking a big move, and it's our farm. We have a thousand acre farm in the north. And on this farm, we built this big, beautiful house, two story, six bedroom, four bathroom. People say, why did you build that house like that in the middle of the bush? 
because it's teaching uh, women that are victims of war how to take care of a big, beautiful house, how to make a bed, how to wash clothing properly, how to iron the sheets and make everything just right, like a five-star hotel. And people say, well, why? Because we feel that on a two-year program, these women will be able to get a job in nearby countries, nearby cities, working in hotels. Uh, We're also teaching them how to make Spanish omelets, how to make eggs benedict, how to make French toast, how to make pancakes. People say, why? Because we can get them jobs in restaurants in these nearby surrounding cities. And if you can give them a future like, or excuse me, if you can give them a skill and a trade like that, you give them a future. You know, and most of these women that are victims of war, many of them were were uh, as used as sex slaves. Many of them were wives of the rebels. They had children to the rebels. They can't even go back into their own village because people treat them awful. Some of the villages will actually stone them. We got to do something. We're also teaching these women how to make uh, uh, butter on the farm. We're teaching them how to make uh, uh, yogurt. We're teaching them how to make cheese. It's about giving them a future. Yeah. And that's something there's not a whole lot of people focusing on. Sometimes we focus a lot on little children. And I don't know why, but you'll find a lot of men projects in East Africa. Mm-hmm. But projects that are focused on women, you just don't find many. That is so strange to me because I feel like the whole world is talking about women right now and women's rights and changing the status quo. But yeah, I'm from South Africa and I know that there's a very big conversation about how women are so undervalued and just culturally the stereotype, they don't have a voice. Something we've got to remember in the world today is a lot of people talk, but there's few people doing action and taking action into something. Mm -hmm. You know, unfortunately in East Africa today in many villages, it's legal to beat your wife. Yes. You know, so women do not have the rights that they need. Yes. And it begins with us. If we can make a difference in one lady, one woman's life, mm. then we can make a difference in her family as well. And that's why some of the funds from the ticket sales for this event is also going to be going is towards these specific projects that um, Sam and the Angels are working on. So it'll be going towards funding this farm giving these women skills so by coming to this event by buying tickets by supporting by donating um i love that you said that if like every person who follows you on social media gets mm. one dollar they we will what have your budget for a year for a year yeah which is so phenomenal and we think that one person like i'm like oh what's my dollar gonna do but absolutely it can it, make a big difference counts. so it's amazing i'm so happy to be working on this it warms my heart and I think it's rare that we get to work on projects that are so blessed (laughs) and just from God and for God and that's just amazing to me. So thank you. Thank Thank you you very much. Great. Hello everybody, this is Tom Martin. I'm happy to be part of uh, my uh, dear friend Jordan's Star Baby uh, team and uh, what makes my life so uh, fulfilling really is when every once in a while I get to cross paths with an extraordinary person. We're all extraordinary in our own way, of course, but it's just such an honor to be with you, Sam Childers, today. I, all right. I've, I've heard your story and I just admire you for your courage. You know, you saw children in need in uh, East Africa and uh, you, you knew that you just couldn't let, let it be. And, you know, we all seem so lost in the world of technology these days and social media, but it really boils down to, you know, human beings and flesh and blood and especially innocent little children who've done nothing, you know, but, you know, just share the planet with us. And uh, you're giving people an opportunity to make a difference, right? Can you tell us about that? Well, you know, I am a missionary. Uh, I'm a different kind of a missionary. And if you look into the world today, I'm going to talk about Africa. We've had missionaries going there for many, many years, teaching what they call the gospel of Jesus Christ. But what they have created in those countries is people standing out with their hand out, praying in the name of Jesus. But what they have created is beggars in the name of Jesus. That's not the gospel. I believe that the gospel of Jesus Christ is teaching people how to fish, not handing fish out. So I believe that what people need to do today is we need to stop handing out things to people and we need to start teaching a skill and a trade. 
And one of the things that we focus on now is doing that. You know, in a third world country today, do you realize that when you're 15 years old, you're out of the orphanage? More than 70% of those children end up in prostitution. But if we can give them an education, but it's not just with an education, we need to teach a skill and a trade to young people. So the last few years, our organization, we have started a farm where we teach farming, ranching, and irrigation. We built a big house on this farm. We're, we're teaching uh, uh, ladies, women that are victims of war, how to take care of a big, beautiful house, how to make uh, Spanish omelets, how to make eggs benedict, how to make uh, French toast. People say, well, for what? Because we feel that over two years of training these women, we'll be able to get them jobs in four-star, five-star hotels. You know, so I believe that in a lot of these countries, we need to focus on teaching a skill and a trade. We built a Votech school the last few years that teaches auto mechanics, woodworking, and seamstress. You know, so if you can give somebody a skill and a trade, you gave them a future. So I believe that there's more to just going in and teaching a religious uh, uh, people how to pray. But if we can teach a skill in a trade, we can make a difference. That's beautiful, yeah. I know uh, we seem to be living in a time right now, especially in the U.S., where so many people feel like they don't make a difference. It's they, you know, they're, they feel lost in the shuffle, sort of. But you're, you're giving them a way to make a real difference for the lifetime of, of uh, an innocent child and create a future for them, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of the children, some of the older ones that I rescued uh, 12 years ago, 14 years ago from the Coney War, actually are on our payroll working for us. You know, a lot of, uh, a lot of NGOs or organizations in Africa, what they do is they go over there and they create an organization where they're paying a lot of people from America or the countries that they're from. We work right now in East Africa, our organization works over 250 people a day. That's from the countries where we're at. That's not Americans that we're bringing in. You know, so if we're going to change a nation, it comes through a lot of ways that we got to change the people that's there. And that's through creating jobs for those people. Not bringing people in to do the work, creating jobs where the people from the country where you're at are going to make money on their own where they can help their own families. That's very exciting. Well, I feel honored to be part of the team, and I hope everybody will uh, check out Sam's website and come join us on November 4th for the gala. Great Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So, Sam, you've come from this rough road where you were kind of going down some place you didn't really think was right, and then you started this whole movement, and it's become this whole big thing that's helped thousands of people. So what can you say to people out there that don't think they can make a difference? You know, 30 years ago, I was probably the meanest person you would have ever met in your life. Not a tough guy, a mean guy. But I believe no matter who you are, no matter how bad you are, there's something inside here that you want to do good but you just don't know how to do it. I, w I want you to just kind of look at the things that I was a part of over the last few years. And if I can make a difference, you know, I was the person, no education. I was the person most likely never to succeed in life. But if I can make a difference with no education, imagine what you can do. It all begins with just taking a stand and doing something little. And I know you can do it. Absolutely. You can make a difference. Click on the link below for tickets to our upcoming gala. You can help millions. Absolutely.